Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBeacrochet.com and I'm real excited to invite you along to my crochet along for the Celtic Cross Throw. Um, this project is an intermediate project, but I don't want you to be afraid of just jumping in and trying it if you're a confident beginner. Who's a confident beginner? A confident beginner is someone who knows the single crochet, the chain, the double crochet, and the treble crochet. If you can crochet them, and you know make a scarf that kind of goes straight and not kind of wonky on you um, I think you you could probably even jump in and try this well what are you going to need well the pattern would be helpful for starters the pattern first appeared in December 2018 in uh, Crochet World magazine if you don't have a copy of this magazine already um, you can get one from Annie's. I'll have the link right down there below. I believe they still have some physical copies for purchase and they always are going to have the PDF download that you can purchase online. Now you can also purchase this, the pattern alone but honestly it's just a dollar less than getting the regular magazine which has many 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 more um, outstanding projects that I think you would really enjoy looking at. For this project I'm going to be using Red Hearts Comfort Chunky. This is 100% acrylic it's a five, which is a bulky weight, and you can see the yardage here, 448 yards or 410 meters. And any other information you want to see right there. And I am going to be using a size L or 11 or 8.00 millimeters crochet hook. And as always, I'm recommending that you have a yarn needle handy as well as a pair of scissors. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. To begin, we're going to go ahead and make our slip knot. Then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first chain so that we can make um, a circle just like this. Now we're going to chain two. One, two, and for the record, this does not count as a stitch, okay? Now we're going to work 16 double crochets right into the center of the circle. And as I do this, I'm going to crochet over this loose strand, and that way I have one less strand to hide at the end. So go ahead and work 16 double crochets going right into the center. After finishing those 16 stitches, this is what I have. I'm going to go ahead and trim that loose strand since I have 16 stitches crocheted around it. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. So this is what you should have after you finish those 16 stitches. Okay, after we do that, we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Now the first stitch, remember, is this double crochet, not the chain two. Just join with a slip stitch, just like that. Okay, now starting round number two, we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and this does count as a double crochet. And now in that same place as joining, we're gonna work a double crochet, chain two, and then two more double crochets. So we've just formed the first corner. Now we're going to work um, two double crochets in each of the next three stitches. So two double crochets here, and then two double crochets here, and two double crochets in the next stitch. I'm going to stop and let you see what that looks like. Okay, now we're ready for the next corner, which is going to be two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets worked in the same place. Okay, so we'll stop and show you this much of it. Okay, now we're going to repeat that all the way around, and I'm going to go ahead and do that with you. Two double crochets in each of the next three stitches. And I'll stop and count 
whoops, go ahead and stop and count just to make sure I have the right number. So we have the corner here, so we have two, two, and two. Now it's time for another corner, which is two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets, all worked in that same place. Now we're going to work two double crochets in each of the next three stitches. I just want to make sure that, that we establish a good foundation on these two rounds because um, it's kind of important. Actually, the next round is kind of important too. But um, So we have two, two, and two. And it's time for another corner, which is two double crochets, chain two, and then two more double crochets. And now we're left with three stitches and we work two double crochets in each of those. And two more here. Okay, let's stop and take a look at what we have at this point. Okay, now we're going to do something a little interesting. Um, we're going to join to the top of that chain, just like this. Remember that chain three does count as a stitch. Now, so we don't have to turn and work on the back side. We're going to keep the front side facing. We're going to work a slip stitch in that next stitch, and then we're going to work a slip stitch to that chain two corner. Now we're going to chain two. This is beginning round number three. We're going to work a half double crochet alongside that corner. This chain two does count as another half double crochet. And just keep in mind, whenever you come to a corner, you're going to fill that with another corner of some sort, okay? We're going to chain two, and we're going to work two more half double crochets. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So now we have a half double crochet corner. After that chain two corner, we're going to skip the next stitch half double crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to front post double crochet in the next six stitches. Now make sure that you once you've crocheted in this stitch for example you don't want to front post stitch in there. I actually just did that ac accidentally so I'm just wanting to make sure that you're really clear. Once you use a stitch in one way or another don't use it again. Um, it, it's real easy to make a mistake and do that so I just want to try to warn you against that. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six front post double crochets. Let's look at that. Okay, and then a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to work another corner, which is two half double crochets, chain two, and two more half double crochets. So all you need to do now is do this two more times around your square and then we'll be ready to make the join. At the end of round three, we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain two and then we're going to slip stitch our way to that chain two by slip stitching in the next stitch and then slip stitch to the chain two corner. After working those two slip stitches to get to the chain two corner space, we're going to chain two and we are going to turn. We're going to skip the first stitch and then we're going to work a half double crochet in the next two stitches. One, two. Now we're going to work three back post double crochets and these should be over the front post double crochets that you worked in the last round. So we have one, two, three um, back post double crochets. Now the next stitch is a half double crochet and it's going to be worked in between the last stitch and the next stitch. So right here there's a little space. Um, if people have written to me and say, oh that's so confusing. It's like, well actually it's not. It just is the same as what it says. It's in between the last stitch and the next stitch, which is the space right here. Just work a half double crochet. 
It's not worked in a stitch, but that's okay. Just follow the directions and I think everything will be fine. So now we're going to work three more back post double crochets around those next three stitches. And you'll see why we're doing what we just did. This is actually going to be the center of the cable once we get going here and it's going to be very clear as to why we're doing this this way. Okay, now we're going to work a half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then we're going to work a, a corner here, which is two half double crochets, chain two, and two more half double crochets. And that's going to be your repeat all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and work another one of these with you. We're going to skip this half double crochet. We're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then we, as I get some more yarn, we're going to work three back post double crochets. One, two, three, and then a half double crochet in between the last stitch and the next stitch. It's right here, just in, in between that space. And then three more back post double crochets. One, two, three, and then half double in the next two stitches. And we're going to skip the next stitch. And then we're going to work two half double crochets, chain two, one, two, and then two more half double crochets for the corner. Let's stop and show you what this looks like. And you're going to go ahead and work this all the way around the rest of the square. For the last corner, we're going to work two double crochets, a chain two, and one half double crochet, because this chain two that we worked at the beginning counts as a half double crochet. So go ahead and join to that to that chain two space. Let me, let me like to use two strands if possible. There we go. So join to the top of that space. Now we are going to begin round five. We're going to, first of all, we're going to turn. Then we're going to chain one. Um, now before we begin round number five, in the magazine there was a typo, typographical error. Um, the first corner shows as being um, made of half double crochets. All the corners of this round are going to be made using double crochet, so I just wanted to state that at first. Okay, so now to begin round five, we've chained one. It says to skip the next stitch and then slip stitch in that corner space. That kind of makes it have less, you know, fabric here as we go along. So I'm going to have you chain three. Even though the pattern says to chain two, uh, like I said, that is a typo. Go ahead and chain three. And we're going to work a double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets for each of these corners. And the reason we're going to alternate um, half double crochets and then we're going to alternate those rounds with double crochet rounds is because it tends to help the afghan to come out more like a square rather than a big round blob or um, it also keeps the corners from being too pointy. If you use one stitch or the other exclusively, it tends to misshape the square in a way that does not look really, really, really appealing. Okay, so now as we go forward, um, this again is round number nine. We are going to skip the next stitch, which is the first half double crochet. And we're going to half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Okay, 
After working those three half double crochets, we're going to work what I like to call the crossing of the cable. And if you look in your pattern, this would be under stitch patterns, and we're going to work round number three of the large cable. Okay, we're still on round five of the entire throw, but just if you're looking at the stitch patterns, you can take a look at round three in case um, you don't understand what I'm about to do here. So in order to cross these cables, we're going to skip the next three stitches, one, two, three. We're going to skip those, and we're going to work a half double crochet in that central half double crochet, just like that. Now we're going to work three front post double crochets, one in each of the next three stitches. So make sure you wrap your hook two times for this, this uh, front post treble crochet. Okay, so I've worked three of those. And now after we do that, we are going to work front post trebles in each of the three stitches that we skipped. So just reach way across there. I know it feels like a big gap, but we're just going to work them just like this. After we do that, we are going to work a half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. We're going to skip the last stitch and then we're going to work our double crochet corners. Chain two and two more double crochets in that corner. Let's stop and take a look at what we've just done. We have our double crochet corners, three half double crochets, our crossing of the cable, three half doubles, and then our double crochet corners. Let's go ahead and I'm going to do that for you one more time. I'm going to skip the first stitch, half double crochet, in the next three stitches. Now we're going to skip the next three, one, two, three, half double crochet in the next stitch, front post treble in the next three stitches. Now working in front of the last four stitches, that would be the three front post treble and that half double crochet, we're going to front post treble in these three stitches that we skipped. And these are going to be the three stitches that are sticking out a bit because they're front post stitches. And this is going to be the nice raised texture of your throw. Then after that, we do three half double crochets. Whoops, let's try that one again. The loops got away from me. So one, two, three. We're going to skip the last stitch and two double crochets. Chain two and two more double crochets. I'm going to pause and show you what we have at this stage. You can see one crossing here and another cable crossing there. So go ahead and work this all the way around. At the end of this round, we join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain three and then chain one and go ahead and slip stitch into that chain two space, bringing us to that chain two corner. So now we're going to turn and we're going to work round number six. We're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to skip the next stitch and then we're going to half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Okay, so half double crochets. One, two, three, four. 
Now we're going to work over that cable that was crossed in the last round. We're going to work three back post double crochets over first half of that crossed cable. Okay, so it's three back post doubles. Now again, in between the last stitch and the next stitch, this is where they were crossed. You should be able to put your finger in there. Work a half double crochet in between those two, just like that. And then back post, double crochet in the next three stitches. One. Oops, let's try that again. Two. Three. Now, what we've just did here is we're just maintaining that half double crochet, and you're going to do that throughout the project. Make sure that there's a half double crochet in the middle of this large cable. Um, that just really helps. Let me show you the other side. This is just going to help to give this cable a definition. And you'll see that more as this cable grows. Now we're going to half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. Now you are going to want to count these as you go in each of the rounds because it's really easy as you can see to accidentally slip stitches in here or you know in other places. So make sure that you do count as you go. Um, that way the blanket won't grow bigger on one side than on the other. Now we're ha we have the back side facing. Um, whenever you have the back side facing, you're going to work half double crochet corners. So work two half double crochets, chain two, and then two more half double crochets. Okay. Now when the front side of the pattern is facing like this, where you see the cables, that's when you're going to use your double crochet, chain two, two double crochets for the corners. Okay, so double crochet corners with the front side facing is going to be half double crochet corners with the back side facing. And by alternating them that way, like I said before, this is going to keep your project square and keep it from becoming misshaped. So I'll go ahead and repeat this pattern one more time for round number six. We're going to skip the first stitch, half double crochet in the next four stitches. Okay, I've done four half double crochets. Now we're going to do three back post double crochets. After you do those three back post doubles, that brings you to the middle of this cable. Work a half double crochet in the center there. It's not directly in a stitch, but it's in between the last stitch and the next stitch. And then back post double in the next three stitches. And we're going to skip this half double crochet and we're going to half double crochet in the next four stitches. And skip this stitch and again half double crochets with the back side facing. Chain two. So for the corners two double had two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochets. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. It doesn't look like much from the back side, but if you flip it around, this is what it should look like from the front side. So go ahead and repeat that two more times as you go around your square. And that last corner of round six is going to be two half double crochets, chain two, and then one half double crochet. And then we join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain two. Okay, now we can turn and let's take a look at what we have after six rounds. And this is going to settle out once we get more rounds going here. Okay, now we're ready to start round 
number seven. We are going to chain one and we're going to skip the next stitch and slip stitch into that chain two space and we're going to chain three one two three again i am making um, a slight change from the original written pattern the, the new pattern may be corrected but um the odd rounds with the front side facing are going to have double crochet corners and that's what i am um, changing at that one okay so we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet chain two and two more double crochets for this corner okay after working the double crochet corner we're going to skip the first stitch and then half double crochet in each of the next five stitches four and five after that we're going to work three front post double crochets one in each of the next three stitches and these are worked on the other post stitches that form our large cable now we're going to work a half double crochet in the half double crochet and this is going to be right in the center every time you work this and then the front post double crochet and the next three stitches Oops, let's try that one again okay now we're going to work half double crochets in each of the next five stitches so that's two three four and five we're going to skip the last stitch and then we're going to work two double crochets remember with the front side facing you're going to work double crochet corners chain two and two more double crochets to form that corner so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have so we're going to work double crochet corners five half double crochets three front post doubles half double crochet in that half double crochet and again that's just work through the top loops it's not a post stitch and then three front post double crochets five half doubles and then you have the double crochet corners two double crochet chain two two double crochet so go ahead and work that all the way around your square at the end of round seven we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain three we're going to chain one and go ahead and slip stitch going to skip this stitch and then slip stitch into that chain two space just like that now we're going to go ahead and turn our work to work round number eight we're going to chain two we're going to skip the first stitch then we're going to half double crochet in each of the next six stitches so that was one two three four five and six now we're going to work back post double crochets across the next three stitches so just reach around the back like that work those back post double crochets and then when we get to that half double crochet we're going to half double crochet right there working through the top loops and then after we do that we're going to work three more back post double crochets one two three and that's again just to show you that's working over this cable we're making this cable larger as we go after we do that we are going to half double crochet in each of the next six stitches so that's one two three four five six and in case you haven't noticed it already we're going to always be skipping um, this stitch and this stitch of the corners now we have the back side facing so that means we're going to work half double crochet corners two half 
double crochets, chain two, and then two more half double crochets. Okay, and so that is going to be your repeat all the way around the square, skipping that first stitch again, which is the first stitch of the corner, half double crochet in the next six stitches, three back post double crochets, half double crochet, three half, three back post rather, double crochets, and then six half double crochets, and then when you get to the corner, two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochet. So go ahead and work that all the way around. This round ends by working two half double crochets, chain two, and then one half double crochet, and then we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain two that we started the round with. After round eight, I've gone ahead and turned my square so I have the front side facing. Chain one, we're going to skip the next stitch and slip stitch into that chain two space just like that and now we are going to chain three one two three we're going to work a double crochet remember now the pattern does say a half double um, that needs to be corrected if you still have the original pattern that should be a double crochet corner we're going to chain two and then two more double crochets in that corner and just as another reminder, we're using double crochet corners whenever you can see the cabling, and we're using half double crochet corners when you have the back side facing. Okay, now we're going to half double crochet, we're going to skip this stitch, half double crochet in the next seven stitches. After you've worked those seven half double crochets, we come again to this large cable, and we're going to work three front post double crochets. This is actually, I believe, row one of the large cable pattern. For those of you who are following the pattern, then we do a half double crochet in the center and then another three front post double crochets. Okay. After that, we do seven more half double crochets, one in each of the next seven stitches. After those seven half double crochets, remember we're skipping the next stitch, and then we work double crochet, two double crochets for the corner, chain two, and two more double crochets. And that is going to be your repeat. Let's go ahead and take a look at that again. We started out with the corners, which again are double crochet corners. Then skip the next stitch, seven half double crochets, three front post double crochets, half double crochet in that half double crochet in the center, three more front post doubles, and then seven half double crochets. Skip the next stitch here in the corner, and then two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets for the corner. So go ahead and work that all the way across. And remember, we're skipping the first stitch here as we begin, and we also skip the, the last stitch here. So make sure you're not working in those or you'll be adding unnecessary stitches. So go ahead and finish that all the way around. At the end of this round, we join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain three. We're going to go ahead and give it a chain one. Go ahead and do a slip stitch in that chain two space and go ahead and chain two and we are going to turn. We now have round number 10 with the back side facing and we are going to skip the first stitch and starting in the next we are going to half double crochet in each of the next eight stitches. So go ahead and do that. For the cable portion, we are going to simply work three back post double crochets. This again is over the cable, the large cable. And then we work a half double crochet 
in that half double crochet which should be right in the center of your cable and then three more back post double crochets After we do that, we're going to work one half double crochet in each of the next eight stitches. We're going to skip the next stitch, and then with the back side facing, we're going to work our half double crochet corners, which is two half double crochets, chain two, and then two more half double crochets. Let's pause and take a look at that repeat one more time. This is for round number 10. We're going to work our um, seven, I'm sorry, eight half double crochets in this section for the cable, three back post double crochets, half double crochet, and then three back post double crochets, and then eight more half double crochets, skip this stitch, and then the half double crochet corner, which is two half double crochets, chain two, and two half double crochets. So go ahead and work that all the way around. Round 10 ends by working the corner with two half double crochets, chain two, and then one half double crochet, and then join to the top of that chain two, right there of that round. Okay, now we're ready to move on to round 11, and this is the round where we're going to begin working the four post cables okay so let's go ahead and turn our work we should have the front side facing it should look like this on each side okay we're going to chain one we're going to skip skip this stitch we're going to slip stitch into that chain two space we are going to chain three one, two, three, even though it says two, trust me on this chain three because we're making double crochet corners and double crochet in that same space, chain two, and then two more double crochets in that chain two space to form a double crochet corner. Okay, now this is where we have to follow the instructions carefully. We're going to half double crochet in the next well, first of all, we're going to skip this stitch and then we're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. One, two. Okay. Now, this is where we form our four post cable. And we do this by skipping the next two stitches. One, two. And then we're going to front post treble crochet and the next two stitches. And this is the beginning again of those, those little skinny cables on either side of the large cable. After we work those two front post trebles, we're going to work front post, uh, working in front of these two uh, cables, we're going to work front post cables in the two stitches that we skipped right here. And by the way, we're going to be working these on the front side facing um, every time we have a round, which is going to be every other round with the front side facing. Okay, after we do that, we're going to go over and work three um, half double crochets, one half double crochet in each of these three stitches. One, two, and three. I just want to pause for a second and let you look at that. So we have two, we have skipped this first stitch, two half double crochets, and then we worked our four post cable, and then we worked three half double crochets. Now it's time to do another crossing of the large cable. And remember we do this by skipping the next three stitches, half double crochet in that half double crochet, then we're going to work front post trebles in the next three stitches. Make sure you're wrapping that hook twice for these treble crochets, front post trebles. 
Okay. Now, after working those, we're going to work in front of these last four stitches. And we're going to front post treble in each of these stitches as we cross the cable here. That's one. Two and three. So we've just just crossed that large cable. After we do that, now we're going to mirror what we did over here. Um, just just to mention that we're going to half double crochet the next three stitches. Now it's time for us to make another front post, or actually four post cable. So we're going to skip the next two stitches. We're going to front post treble crochet in the next two stitches. Now working in front of these two stitches, we're going to front post treble crochet in these two half doubles. That's one and two. Now all we have left is working two, one, two half double crochets and that brings us to our corner and because we have the front side facing we're working double crochet corners. Now if you accidentally forget here or there. It's probably not going to be that big of a deal. I wouldn't tear out the whole project to correct it. Um, but you want to make sure that you, you try to remember to, to um, do the double crochets with the front side facing for the corners. Okay, then we chain two and then two more double crochets. I mean, I was going to say is if you just make the mistake once or twice here or there, it's really not going to affect um, your throw very much, but if you're making it consistently, it will definitely uh, have an effect. Okay, so let's just review here. We have um, the double crochet corners, and we always skip, remember this stitch here, we always skip the stitch at the beginning and at the end on each side of the, of the round. Two half double crochets, then we work our four post cable, and then three half doubles and then we had the crossing of the large cable and then three half doubles, four post cable, two half doubles and then the double crochet corner. I know that sounds like a lot and we are using three different stitches as we go across here so I know it's it's easy to get confused um, but I promise you once you've made a few rounds using um, you know, a few rounds from this point on, you're going to see the pattern and it's going to pretty much be very easy to follow. But just have to stick with me. Now concerning the cable here, just keep in mind that you have six stitches, okay? Um, if you're following along with me in the Crochet World magazine, this would be a large cable row three. And every, so you have, actually, that would be three, four, five, six, and then one, two, and then three, again, crosses. So that just, that just continues um, throughout, and each cable should look like this. And it's a very visual, uh, very visual pattern. So even if you're not using, um, you know, the written pattern quite as much, you know, actually, once you get a few more, rounds in this you probably won't even need to refer to it. Okay so let's go ahead and just finish what I showed you all the way around. At the end of this round we just join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain three and go ahead and give it a chain and let, let, let me ask you to just go ahead and pause. This is a very important foundation round. I would like you to check to make sure that you do have three stitches on each side, these three half double crochets on each side of the large cable, in that you have the four post cable on either side of every cable of um, around. And also check to make sure that there are two stitches here 
and two stitches over here and that you have double crochet corners. The reason being is this is the round that has established the pattern that we're going to follow from this point on with all three of the cables on each side of the throw. Okay, well let's go ahead. If you've done that, go ahead and turn. And oh, one other thing, let me show you before we go on to this. Um, there are always going to be three stitches, three half double crochets on each side of the large cable from now on. This area over here between the corner and the four post cable, this is where the added stitches are going to come. Each round you're going to add one additional stitch from the round previous. Okay, as you go around. And that's pretty much what we're going to do for the rest of the pattern. We're just going to be increasing one stitch here and of course on the other side as well. One stitch over here in between the corner and the four post cable. So I just wanted to be clear about that before we go further. At the end of round 11, go ahead and chain one and slip stitch to that chain two corner. Now we're going to go ahead and turn and begin round two with a chain two, one, two. And after we do that, we're going to skip the first stitch and then we're going to half double crochet in each stitch until we reach that um, four post cable. So that would give you three stitches for round number 12 here, three stitches here. And like I said before, this is going to increase with each additional round. Okay, we have three here. The next round will have four and then five, six, seven, eight, etc., all the way through to round 46. Now that we've come to the four post cable, we're going to go ahead and work four back post double crochets just straight across in the order that they come. We're not crossing anything. We are just doing four back post double crochets straight across there. If you can see that, and if I turn, this is what it looks like from the front side here. Okay, after that, we have our three half double crochets, which is always going to be three half double crochets in between the smaller and the larger cable. And now over our cable, this is um, working round four of the large cable. If you look at the um, stitch information in your book or in the magazine, we're going to work three back post double crochets. And then we're going to work a half double crochet in between the last stitch and the next stitch, which would be in the center of this cable. And then three more back post double crochets. Okay. So we've just worked over that large cable. Now we're going to do three more half double crochets. One, two, three, and then we come to another four post cable and we just do four back post double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then now we come to the half doubles and we're only going to have three for this round. One, two, three, and remember we're skipping this stitch and we have the back side facing so we're going to make these half double crochet corners. So two half double crochets, chain two, and then two half double crochets. One, two. Okay, so that is your repeat. If you need to back this up, just, you know, back up to where it says um, round 12. Okay, so we have, we're going to have the, the half double crochet corners. We're going to have the three half double crochets, 
the four back post double crochets and this is over the four post cable then three half doubles and then working on the large cable three back post double crochets half double three back post double crochets three half double crochets and then working over this four post cable four back post double crochets I hope I'm saying this all right three half double crochets and then the corner again two half double chain two two half double crochets you'll be doing that in every corner so go ahead and work that all the way around round 12 ends with working two half double crochets a chain two and another half double crochet in that chain two space and then go ahead and find that chain two and do a slip stitch in the top of that stitch okay now we're going to go on to round number 12 but before we do that we're going to go ahead and turn into chain one and go ahead and slip stitch in that chain two corner we're skipping this stitch and just slip stitch in that chain two corner and now for round 13 actually that was part of 13 we're going to go ahead and chain three this is another one of those with the DC double crochet corners we're going to double crochet chain two and then work two double crochets in that chain two corner go ahead and get this situated now we are going to ha skip the next stitch and we're going to half double crochet until we get to the four post stitch and that should mean four in, in, it's in this situation um, for round 13 we should have four half double crochets now if you're re-watching this section for the additional rows you would just half double crochet and once you skip this first stitch just half double crochet in each stitch until you get to the four post um, cable we're going to skip these two stitches and we're going to front post treble crochet just like we did two rounds ago in each of those two stitches and now working in front of those two stitches we're going to front post treble and the two stitches that we just skipped and again this is what you're going to do every other round whenever the front side is facing with the cables you're going to be crossing these cables on both sides of the large cable now we're going to half double crochet into three stitches this will not change there will always be three stitches in between the small cable and the larger cable now when we get to the large cable we're actually working see this is row three row four this is row five of the large cable directions which is to front post double crochet in these three stitches then we're going to half double crochet working through the top loops so of that half double crochet in the center and then three more front post double crochets go ahead and pull this little thing out of my yarn there we go glad that's not a real knot now we go to the other side of the cable and we work our three half double crochets this is a number that will not change or should not change anyway then we get to the other four post cable skip these two stitches front post treble crochet in the next two stitches working in front of these two stitches we're going to front post treble in the two stitches that we just skipped okay and then after that we are going to half double crochet until we get to the corner half double crochet in each stitch except we don't half double crochet remember now in this last stitch so we should have four stitches there for round 13 of course if you're watching a repeat of this for additional rounds there you're going to have more and then with the front side facing we work the double crochet 
corners, which is two double crochets, chain two, and then two more double crochets. Okay, let's stop and take a look at what we have. Okay, so starting over here, we have the double crochet corners. Remember, skipping the stitch, four half doubles. We've crossed our cables for the four post cables using treble, front post treble crochets, three half doubles, and then three front post doubles, half double, three front post double crochets, three half double crochets, and then we have the treble front post treble crochets as we crossed the cable on that four post cable. And then four, or however many you need to get to one stitch before the corner of this in half double crochets, and then the double crochet corner. So go ahead and work round 13 all the way around. Row 13 ends by working a slip stitch in the top of that chain three. And let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Okay, each, each side should have three cables. You have your four post cables on each side, and you should have the large cable in the middle. Um, and I'm using double crochet corners for this since it has the front side facing. I think it'd be a prudent thing to go ahead and make sure that every side looks like this. Uh, make sure that you did not do front post double crochets, but that you actually cross the cables on these small cables. You're going to be doing that on each round. Now for the rest of this throw, um, you're going to be repeating rows 12 and 13. Those are the two rows that I just did. If you need more stitch support, you can just go back to where uh, I marked it as row 12 and row 13 and take a look at those. Um, the only thing that's going to be different as you as you progress is that this will increase, as I've said before, this will increase by one stitch here and on the outside here. This will increase by one stitch every round that you do. In the middle here, these three stitches here and these three stitches here will remain the same. You're always going to cross these two cables when the front side is facing. When the back side is facing, you're just going to work four back post double crochets, or crochets across that. And then for the middle cable, just make sure that you are creating cables that look the same. Each of these has its own six stitch pattern, which is written in the, in the uh, magazine instructions. Again, this is row three where the cable is crossed. Okay, so if we have three, four, five, six, then one, two, and then the three again as you cross that cable. So that's just going to be continuous. Actually, if you've gotten this far and we're still friends, you probably already understand this cable, but just wanted to be clear. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just continue this for the next um, number of rows until I reach 46. Um, so I'll, I'll do this until I have a total of 46 rounds. And as far as the large cables, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to have six whole cables and then another half as you end this. Okay, so I will see you after I complete these 46 rounds.